All right, folks, this is the supercharger off of that engine. The engine's almost done. Got it waiting for a few parts. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna do a little discussion on how to drain the supercharger oil. And there is the plug. Now, the thing about this plug is that you can't go to your local hardware store to get one. You can't even go to Mercedes to get one. So don't lose it. It's a five millimeter. I'm unscrewing it. The supercharger is level in both directions, X axis, Y axis. I had my assistant helping. And what we're going to do is a series of little experiments. Gonna hope I don't lose. Apparently, when you're doing this on the car, you should have a towel underneath it so that if you do drop this irreplaceable plug, you're not sitting there going, oh crap. I've lost my plug. It'll drop into the towel. So unscrewing it. And we're going to see if anything comes out. Ooh, it looks like there's oil in there. Put the plug over here. Oh, yeah. Looks like there's some oil in there. So what most people do is they suck the oil out. I'll be back. So I'm back. And what people get is some hose. I got this from a fish aquarium supply house. And we'll see if it fits in. We're gonna stick it in. And then we're just gonna stick it out to see if there's any oil in it. No, there isn't. So I know normally most people put wire in it, but I'm just gonna shove this hose into the supercharger. And I will have my assistant hold the camera with the idea that you see where the hose is. We want it centered. And then we'll just see if we can suck anything out. What the heck is going on with this thing? Oh, some big fat tube there. Not helping. We'll see if we get anything out. Nothing. Nothing. We want to focus right in there. See where the hose comes out of the supercharger. Can you see it? Right there. Okay. And I'm getting nothing. So that assumes that there's actually oil in here. We don't know. And I see nothing coming. And I don't know why it's not coming out. But it's not. All right, so. Let's make sure this thing actually sucks. Yep, got suction on the syringe. See if we get anything to come out. So this uh, supercharger has 100,000 miles on it and I can almost guarantee it's never been serviced. And I don't see anything coming out. And I don't see anything on the two. Oh, there's some oil. See the brown stuff? Uh, I'm underwhelmed. Okay. And I've sucked a lot. So now we will come back in a minute and we'll have the wire in it. All right, we're back. So we're going to go with the traditional method. There's a wire inside this to stiffen it so I can bend it and have it go in the direction I want it to go. So we're going to go through this hole and then we're going to aim down towards the bottom of the sump. And we'll just put this thing in there. Let's see, maybe I need a stiffer wire. All right. Let's see how that works. We'll apply some suction. We'll disconnect this so I can get more suction. And we get nothing.
I'm getting nothing. I'm getting nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing's collapsing. Okay. Well, we'll pull it out and see if it's got any goop on it. Uh, that's pretty goopless. All right. We'll be back. We got another idea. All right. Now what we've done is we've raised the front of the supercharger up and we have it at an angle and we're actually going to lift it up a little more and then we're going to tilt it so, so we can pour it out, see if anything's in there. And my assistant will tilt it and I can lower it down. Oop, there's the oil. There's the oil. So there is oil. God, that is like goop. Okay. Ooh, that's goopy. Now, I'm going to switch places. I'm going to let my assistant put photograph, which will require the camera. And then I'm going to lift up some more. That's all the oil that was in there. Jeez. There's supposed to be 150 cc's of oil in there. Do you see any dripping out? Do you see where the hole is? There's nothing dripping. There's nothing dripping. So the reason we didn't get any supercharger oil out, there's nothing. At that angle, it should be draining. So it's not draining. So what have we proven here today? <sighs> what is that, 10 cc's? Yep. So, if we're lucky, it's five cc's. So this supercharger has no oil in it. Now, what's interesting is if you look here, if you've seen pictures of superchargers, this bolt has a hole in it, and that's because there's a hole in this chamber. So if the supercharger gets pressurized, it will blow the excess oil out of the supercharger snout. And that relieves pressure on all the gaskets in here. Now, where does the oil gone? Don't really know, but it's gone. You saw it, it's what, five, 10 cc's max, and it's nasty. So there'll be more later. I'm gonna try filling it up. All right, as everybody knows, this is the oil you use in an IHI supercharger. Oh God, that is crummy on the front there. And uh, it's expensive, but this is what you use. Don't let the dealership try to sell you something else. I think I got this off of eBay a while back. And for what it wor it's worth, what little oil is in this thing, it smells funky. So we'll now be you back. See I put some Teflon tape on, and I did the yellow stuff, which is supposed to handle gasoline and other gases. So it seems like an appropriate use. Put a couple of wraps on, and now I'll put it back in. So we are done. Put 150 cc's of the mobile Jet 2 in. Gonna leave it just hanging here. I can't really detect any sloppiness in the nose. There might be just a little bit, but I don't know enough about these to tell you if that's a sufficient slop to indicate some sort of wear. Um, maybe some of the experts in the world can look at it and see, oh, it shouldn't move at all, but it's, it's, uh, you can just feel a little, little looseness but it was running fine before we, i took it all apart and discovered there's no oil in it so we'll just sort of see what happens i've got it on some cardboard if there's a gross leak i should catch it and we'll go from there so i love y'all peace out